Remember when we covered that Kenosha cop who kneeled on a black girl's neck? Well, that cop has resigned. I got an update, but he has not resigned, resigned totally. He's still getting paid money. Let me remind you, here's the video. So damn sad, we now have the information on the cop. Let's put up his picture. We covered this story earlier in the month. Um, Police officer in Kenosha, Wisconsin resigned from his off duty role at the local school district amid an investigation into the tactics he used to restrain that young child who was involved in an altercation. So the cop has resigned. His name is Officer Sean Gutschow, who was working part time as a security officer for Kenosha Unified School District came under fire after the video went viral and it showed him putting his knee on the neck of a 12 year old girl. This was at Lincoln Middle School on March 4th, okay? Gutschow resigned from his role with the school district on March 15th. Tanya Reuter. Chief Communications Officer for the Kenosha Unified School District confirmed to ABC News. Kenosha Police Lieutenant Joseph Noselec confirmed to ABC News on Wednesday that Gutschow is still employed actually by the police department and is currently on desk duty amid the investigation. In his resignation letter to the school, a copy of which was obtained by ABC News, Gutschow cited the mental and emotional strain that the public attention surrounding the incident has brought on his family, as well as what he says is lack of communication and or support that he has received from the district. Put his picture up again. Now he's claiming, woe is me, I am a victim here, come on. You know, these cops are supposed to be big and bad, right? You know, they're supposed to be tough guys. And then you do something like that to a baby. You're no tough guy, you're a coward. And in his resignation letter, he decides to make himself the victim. But you know, that 12 year old girl is in that video with you, okay? She's having to face a whole lot of people in this country who are calling her all kind of names. And she is a child because of your actions. That family is suffering. The trauma, the emotional and psychological trauma you created for that 12 year old girl is damning. All right, let's put up a picture of Jarrell Perez. This is the young girl's father. Uh, Mr. Perez spoke out against the officer's tactics in a press release. Uh, this was last week and called for criminal charges to be filed against the cop and I agree with him. The father says, and I quote, she's humiliated. My daughter is traumatized. Every day I gotta hear daddy, I don't wanna go to school. Perez said this on Wednesday. He also said, and I quote, it breaks me because I wasn't there to help her. I felt helpless, okay? On top of all of that, now this is your systemic racism part. A charge of disorderly conduct was referred to juvenile court for this young lady and the other student involved. Ms. Khan, thoughts here. I'm so glad that you talked about what this can do to a child psychologically because that really doesn't get talked about enough, right? We hear all these stories of, you know, what somebody did to somebody else and we always focus on the 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 person who's perpetuating the violence, right? We don't even think about what that's going to do to a 12-year-old girl. You know, I feel I feel like I remember what it was like being a 12-year-old girl, but obviously that was a while ago. 
I can't imagine what something like this would hap- uh, would would do to you psychologically. You know, she needs to be in some kind of therapy or something if she's not already. And we can't underestimate what that does to somebody, not just now as a 12 year old going to school, but what how she's going to carry this for the rest of her life, right? Yeah. And then you think about Kenosha, and then you think about mm-hmm. kneeling on necks. It's like what was 2020 and 2021? What was it all for? You know, right. and we had you have all these Black Lives Matter protests, all these George Floyd protests happening all across the country, Breonna Taylor protests. And what was it all for? The whole time people are protesting, they're being told that this isn't a real problem, this is an isolated incident. This is the same thing that we've happened that we've seen twice now publicly. So who knows what I mean, I mean, I'd want to know. I don't want to know how much more often it's happening because it sounds scary. And Kenosha, like what's going on in Kenosha for real? There's yeah. no accountability, so why wouldn't this keep happening? Yeah, once again, systemic culture, the racism mm-hmm. permeates, all right? The bias of it all uh, to the 12 year old child, just know that while the negativity will be there, it's part of the world. But you have way more people that support you, you have way more people that love you, and you have way more people who are willing to fight cowards like him, all right?